With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a uniform rod of length L is being rotated in a horizontal plane with a constant angular speed about its axis passing through one of its end. If the tension generated in the rod due to rotation is dx at a distance x from the axis, which of the following graph depicts its motion most clearly? So let us understand the situation first. So let's suppose I took a rod like this. Now it is rotating about this axis. So, if I take at a distance of x a small element dx, right? So, I will write here at a distance x, I took a small element dx like this. Okay. So, if you see this small element dx, right then i will draw the fvd for this dx as let's suppose at a distance of x the tension is t and at this cross section the tension is t plus dt so we don't know whether the tension will decreases or increases we are just going that if the x increased from x to x plus dx the t increased from t to t plus dt so at a distance x the tension is t and x plus dx the tension is t plus dt okay so now if you see this small cross section this small element t will act in this direction and t plus dt will act in this direction right okay now let's suppose the mass of this rod is m and length of this rod is l right so, from the unitary method, we can calculate the mass for this small element. Since we know that uh, L length have a mass of m, then dx length will have a mass of m by L into dx. It's simple. Mass per unit length into length. And the length is dx, right? Now, we have the mass of this small element. And... Uh, we could see the net force toward the center can be calculated as t minus t plus dt, right? And uh, it is also given that uh, if the, uh, yeah, so if the rod is ro rotating with constant angular speed, so omega here is constant, right? So the rod is rotating with an constant angular speed omega. It is given in the question. So net force toward the center for this small element, I will write. this is equals to dm omega square x right okay so i will write minus dt is equals to m by l into dx into omega square x right so this will be the dt now if we integrate it we'll get the tension as a function of distance from the hinged point so let's integrate it 0 to tx where x is the distance from the axis of rotation and here this x is varying from 0 so at t goes to so if i say x is equal to 0 so we don't know the value of t at x equals to 0 right so i will take here the x is varying from x equals to l since at x equals to l tension will be zero right if you see the diagram if i take a element here so there is no mass here at the end point there is no mass so there won't be any tension at this point at the end point right so at x equals to l the tension is zero this now i just put the limit here so integration of t is this 
and integration of x i will take other constant outside m omega square l so integration of x with respect to dx will be x square by 2 x is equals to l to x right so now you can just put the value here x square minus l square by 2l is equals to minus this right okay so if i uh, send this minus sign here then i will get tx is equals to m omega square now i am taking this l cube outside l square outside so i will write here 1 minus x square by l square in division this so this will be the expression so this is the value of t that varies with x right now this l will get cancelled out right now you can see if you see the curve y is equals to kx square right so that curve is something like this and if i put a negative sign in front of this then i will get the curve inverted and if i add some constant in it then it will shift it upward like this right so if you see this is y is equal to minus kx square plus c curve and that curve is this here you can verify also at the hinge point the x is equal to 0 and the tension is maximum and the tension gradually decreases it and at x equals to l the tension is 0 since there is a point there is no mass at the end point so there is not any uh, need of the centripetal force at for this point so there won't be any tension at this point right so this will be the answer now you could see the question again we wanted the tx as a function of distance from the axis of rotation and we got b as the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today